Did you know that Bad Bunny has a 90-10 contract? So basically what that means is Bad Bunny is taking home 90% of his revenue from music and streams. So Bad Bunny has a management deal with He Must Entertainment, but that's all they are. They just manage him as an artist. The 90-10 comes from his distribution deal with The Orchard, which falls under Sony. So with that distribution deal, Bad Bunny is taking home 90%. All right, there we go. Yeah. So, I mean, we could let her play it, uh, say what she was saying, but that's the concept that we're talking about because that's what we're going to see next. Maybe we'll find somebody who has no distributor that's connected to a, or a, a major or anything like that, mm -hmm. but under that particular agreement, do you just consider that independent of a major or do you call that independent in general? No, independent of a major because it's like one orchard is connected, orchard is orchard, and then Bad Bunny is Bad Bunny. When those two things come together, you essentially have the same level of power and resources as a major label. It's like, that's it, like, well-connected distribution company meets artists that is having a great moment right now or had a great yeah. lot of, couple of moments, right? When those two things pair together, bro, the effect is almost no different than the major label effect. I got a, <laughs> I got a major label with a way better deal. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right, let me let's finish saying what she said of his revenue. He also gets a 30 million dollar advance before he drops an album. Now, whether the album is a <laughs> flop or not, which never is, he is getting 30 million dollars off the top. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to cut Shorty off. Uh, the music, yeah, that music. Like, oh, yeah, yeah I, I saw you kind of bopping <laughs> to the music a little bit. I'm like, hold up, is that music? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shoot all right so yeah sorry we can't let you play and mess up our copyright but nah that um i think that's the real conversation it's just do you consider that independent or not yeah. right i think again to me it goes back to semantics and i get tired of the semantics of hey you're in a partnership but i'm you still came to me with this same ass deal it's like oh yeah man no nah, but it's a <laughs> partnership though it's like no nah, don't be doing it like, no nah, you you know, so we're still getting the exact same resources pretty much mm -hmm. once you get to this at the same level, all right, from those same entities. Mm -hmm. That's not independent in the in the way that is marketed, right? It gets marketed as this pure relationship that's completely in house, no real connections. And again, when you hear this from me, I always want to keep in mind. This is not me saying there's anything wrong with being independent. That's not me saying there's anything wrong with being connected to majors, any of that stuff. I'm always about just seeing the game for what it is and make sure your paperwork and your numbers suit you, right? Yeah, you got that 90-10. Look, would you be mad again saying, oh, I got a label, but you get did 90-10? And you get 90-10, you good. You get your 90-10. Happy. That's the part that matters more than the semantic itself. So that's all my ways, my argument. I just want things to be clearly defined and the field to be laid out before we just jump into these, cut these systems or follow these words and these trending topics, because that's the shit that fucks with indie artists on the outside that are inspired by, let's just say a bad money or inspired by a Central C or Russ or whoever. Let me take a quick second to say, if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general, trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply, it's completely free, but the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Yes, these artists have more flexibility. They have larger amounts of money. <laughs> you know, that they're, yeah. that they're getting per, you know, per deal or whatever. And they control their entity their primary entity, all right? 
they can leave agreements. They have a lot of leverage. I think that's the part that's more important versus the word independent or not. Just so just follow the right parts of that game versus that general idea. Cause then you get these guys shit on YouTube like us. <laughs> <laughs> like just saying indie, 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 right? But they're not telling you what indie means, and these people are usually interpreting it as completely DIY. Mm-hmm. And that's not the same shit. Yeah, that's why to me the the growth the uh not the growth, I was about to say the um it's like the growth of the our space has been like you see some people stepping more out of that narrative, right? And more into what you said, hey, do what's best for your situation. Cause yeah, it's like, bro, unless you you want to truly be independent, bro, if you're not either doing every position or you train every person for every position you have, yeah, bro, you're not, you can never be truly independent. You know what I'm saying? This is a collaborative game, bro. Like, you know, you can't get around that. Yeah. And with collaboration, it means you get to lose that title, bro. Now, maybe we will one day see this super, super artist that comes along and does that. But hey, in the meantime, man, you know, that shit working, bro. Take take the route. Just keep pushing. <laughs> hey, shout out to La Russell, though, for that clip inspiration and doing what you've done so far, man. Like you said, you on that the Breakfast Club. A lot of people ain't on the Breakfast Club. A lot of people ain't. So, and part of that, though, comes from doing dope shit. So, we talk about getting to those levels, getting in some of those rooms without certain relationships. We are in a way space where you can get higher up. Damn near completely independent of those traditional majors just because people have power where they can say, oh yeah, I like what you're doing. Yeah. That's how you get yourself into some roles without necessarily being in deals. And especially when we talk about outside music, right? Charlemagne isn't in music. Mm-hmm. Like that's how his main thing. Oh, I just like you. I'm not saying I don't know exactly how he got there, but I'm sure Charlemagne has brought people on. That he just liked what they were doing because yeah. he seemed to be the, the more A and R individual on Breakfast Club. You yeah, know what I mean, making yeah. connections and bringing yeah. people in like that. So, look, do those shit and do a good business, and you'll be all right. Yeah, it's all it is. Well. Yeah, well, so really. <laughs> no, no, no. See, that's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem, bro. We, we, we try to be accurate versus just doing sound bites, and niggas just want to hear sound bites. Because, like you said, the whole idea of being independent or, or major, we've always been on that nuance. People are starting to be cool, do what's best for you. We've always said that because I ain't want nobody life in my hands listening on YouTube. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I did this because of Sean. And I'm like, Yo, bro, you know what I mean? I ain't mean it like that or not in your particular circumstance. Yeah. So that's why I also love the format of podcasts. We, we can at least give more nuance and people don't just hear these sound bites and then take it and run with it in the wrong direction. Yeah, so now if you hear a sound bite and it ruins your life, hey, man, you should have wanted to watch the full episode. Full episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I got proof.